All right, guys. Charlotte County, Florida again. Public safety building. This is the fire safety building over here by the jail off Airport Road. So, want to come in here. See how this is going. Popping on the 360. Just where you can get the MSDS sheets. Hello, ma'am. I was just looking for a public records request for the MSDS data sheets that you have on property here. Okay. Um, if you could turn the camera off, I would appreciate it. And uh, then I'm a reporter, so I, I actually document what I'm, uh, the stories I'm working on. I don't need a card. Thank you. Um, if you would like to um, get in touch with somebody from public records, I'd be more than happy to um, give that information to you. Okay. Do you guys not have it here on the property? Are you videoing? Yes. Okay. Need to ask you to stop videoing. I'm actually a reporter, so it's my job and it's my protected right, so I'm not going to. But um, I will need the MSDS data sheets for the facility here. I just want to photograph and copy them. Okay. All public records request or have you gone through the it. public okay. records division with the county? There is a, a custodian, but under Florida law, there is a duty to disclose. Any member of an agency that has access to the records by law has to provide them. Sir, I'm going to have to ask you again to stop recording. That's not going to happen. You stop recording, I'll have the opportunity to answer your questions. Are you familiar with the county ordinance, sir? No, because I'm not a member of the county down here, so that doesn't apply to me. Have to ask yes, it does. It applies over my constitutional rights. Be careful. It applies to anybody entering this building. Those are the rules for the building. The laws passed by the county are only bearing on the members of the county. Just like no. you can pass a tent law no. down here and it's not going to affect my car <clears throat> because it's not registered in Charlotte County. You could pass a no tent law here in Charlotte County, and because I live somewhere else and I have no I have a tent law that says I can have tent, you can't give me a ticket down here for that. Did you know that? No, but if you if we have a law in this county that says you can't do something, you come to this county and do it, even though you don't live here, you're not allowed to do it. That's correct unless it violates a constitution. We're gonna have a party. We've got right. more than one. Hey guys, how are we doing? You, th you think we ought to get some lunch or something? 
is fantastic. There's oh, a, I love it. What would you a, like for us? There's actually four of us here. There'll be 20 next week. Hey, very cool. Yep. We will so, cater the event. We're coming from all over the U.S. Oh, very neat. Yep. Uh, that's a terribly inappropriate shirt, sir. Yep. Covered up. Uh, no, he won't. It's inappropriate, but it's protected by California versus Cohan. It's cal protected by what? California, California versus Cohan. Well, you're really good. You really know Thank your you. stuff. Yeah. Now, is that camera going to make me look no, fat? I, uh, I hope not. No. Come on, man. No, Come no, on. No, Last no. guy in here made, no. made me look fat. Come no. on. No, it, it won't. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, we're just in here. We <laughs> saw the videos <laughs> down here. We saw the unconstitutionality <laughs> of the ordinance well, that was that, passed. That's, that's your opinion. That's, that's a lot that's of right people's right opinion, to including my lawyer. <laughs> well, have your lawyer contact us then. No, he, oh, he's going to. <laughs> well, he hasn't yet. Yeah, I know. I know, because I just got here. So... When my rights are violated, your rights are violated. They will be. I'm sure. Well, they no, are. no, you're you're I'm talking sure into the future. But you're talking into the future now. Yeah, I can you're not talking about now. I can already see. I tell you how I can talk in the future. Go ahead. Go ahead. You guys remember Miss Cleo? Call me now. That's my aunt. Who's Miss Cleo? You don't remember the TV commercials back in like the 80s and 90s, the Jamaican lady? Call me now. Got the operator standing by. No. No. No, I don't know that. She's no. my aunt, but I'm kind of clairvoyant. Kind of clairvoyant. You're clairvoyant. I am. Oh, very am. cool. Yep. So, so how's all this going to end? How all this going to end? You yeah. guys are going to call the police. They're going to come here. They're going to trespass us. Well, that's that's tres not clairvoyant. Trespass that, is a just... violation of my rights. Here, let me give you my press pass card. That, that, I, I don't need it. I'm good. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, just so you know, you're on notice that any trespass from a public building is a violation of Article 1, Section 2 of the Florida State Constitution, as recognized by State v. Colby, the Highlands County Court case. Okay. So. I just want you guys to let you know, I'm not Ian, I'll never be Ian, and I will be taking this to the fullest is, is, extent. Is that a good thing or not a good thing? Well, it's a great thing. It okay. means that you guys are actually going to be held accountable now for so, your unconstitutional so acts. you don't believe what Ian doing is a good thing then? Um, I believe that the First Amendment should be protected, so however Ian wants to express his but first... You, hold on, you ask me a question. Yes, I'll go right ahead, I'm sorry. So, so Ian expressing his First Amendment activities however he sees fit, as long as he's not breaking the law, is constitutional. Now, why I might not agree with how he goes about doing that, that's beside the point. Just like I might not agree with this gentleman's shirt, you yeah. know what, but, but my family members fought so that he could say that whenever he wanted to say that. And you're 100% right about oh, that. Okay. But, but the whole thing is, if there are children and my wife was here, I find that very offensive. You and you that, should too. You, and you should too. Do you, do you think that's more offensive than what they hear at public school? You send your kids to public school, right? Yes, I do. Okay, because I didn't think you were like a free thinker that actually uh, homeschooled them and taught them what they should know and well, just I'm instead saying, sent them to the government. I'm not saying that's a bad thing either, but I'm saying that this is offensive to a lot of people yeah. because of what they believe. I, believe. I, I agree with your right for free speech and to do things the way you need, but this is just wrong on I, so many levels. I believe that men that ha only have mustaches are very offensive. I believe they're pedophiles, most of them. <laughs> that's, a, that's a funny generalization. It is, a, that it, really is, man. That's it is, wild. Isn't that's it? funny. Yeah, so, yeah. So, so when I see a man with just a mustache, I kind of find that offensive, and I kind of shield my kids away from that. Now, it doesn't mean that he has to go and shave his mustache or grow a beard, does it? Now, now you, you better not shave that beard then, man, because he's going to put you in the category. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we, we're, we're looking good. <laughs> but, um, but, yeah, the way he goes So this guy has a mustache. Hey, he's actually got to go to you. Oh, he's working on it. It's, it's kind of, kind of thing. It's, it's kind he's, of native Amer he's Native American. He's trying. Really? You Native American? <laughs> I'll answer questions. <laughs> yeah, he, I'm sorry? He, he I don't do answer questions. Answer questions. He, he, he's, Why he's, not? He's, he's, I don't know you. Who are you? Yeah, he's just, I'm Tony Messina. How you doing? Tony Messina. Nice to meet you, sir. What's your name? I'm just a good citizen, man. Oh, you are a very good citizen. Excellent. I'm Captain Awesome. Captain Awesome? Captain Awesome. In what way? Um, I am a captain of Team Awesome. Team so, awesome. That's right. So. All right, uh, officer. Th these people are videotaping. Uh, that's contraindicated in our rules, and we'd like to have them removed from the premises. Yes, that's uh, uh, that's what they're saying. All yeah. right. I understand that there's a county ordinance. Yes. All right. Yep. I am going to take a look at that once my supervisor gets here. Okay. Now, now let me there, let okay. me pass you my press pass card. They didn't want to look sure. at it, but I I'll want you it. to look at it because it has all the relevant laws. And uh, since they didn't take a look at it, I put them verbally on notice that they are violating my constitutional and statutory rights. Article 1, Section 2 of the Florida State Constitution, Equal Protection Clause. If a general member of the public has right to access to this floor right here where I'm standing without a camera, mm -hmm. then under the Florida State Constitution, I have a right to access this area with a camera. All 
All right. Okay. So Article 1, Section 2, gentlemen, go ahead and look it up after we leave. Um, also, Amendment 1, you know the, uh, the Glick, or not Glick, excuse me, Smith versus City of Cummings. We have a right to videotape our public officials in the course of their duty. That doesn't mean walking back and forth from your car to the actual building you work in. Okay? So, we'll get it. We'll get it figured out. With them? That's good. Where do you guys hang out at? We're in here. No problem. I'll come okay. get you guys when we get done. Okay. We're done with this, okay? Yeah, thank you. you. won't trespass. All right. Yes. No, we're not refusing to leave. Thank you. No problem. I guess with the ordinance, you guys yeah. aren't allowed to film in public buildings like okay. this. Okay. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of research so I'm more adept on that. Oh, that's, that's no problem. So I'm going to ask you guys to go ahead and leave? Absolutely. All yeah. right. Thank you very much. You got it. We have, uh, do we have a copy of the ordinance if you guys want a copy. Yeah, we, we'd like a copy of the, of the uh, you guys trespassing us, right? Yeah, we're going to issue trespasses. Yep. Okay. Oh, now, okay. Uh, under Florida state law, I'm not required to give ID for a trespassing warning. Absolutely, for this county ordinance you are. Okay, can you show me the statute that says I'm, I'm required? The county ordinance right there. The county ordinance, does it say anything about giving ID for a trespassing warning? You do have to identify yourself. I'll need, to see, I'll, need, I'll need to see the statute. My lawyer specifically wants me to see the statute. Because okay. I, I talked with him about coming down here. You guys know we've all seen the videos. Okay. I know you guys have ID'd Ian, or Ian. But I also know, under Florida state law, there's no statute that makes it a requirement for me to ID under a trespassing warning. Now, if you're arresting me for trespassing, which you're not because I haven't, re I haven't refused to leave, okay. but if you're arresting me for trespass, then I would have to provide an ID. But a trespassing warning is not a crime. It's in a civil fraction. Us, in order for us to identify you to issue the trespass warning, you can take a picture with a case able, number. We have to know who you are. Well, you can take we a picture with a case we number. We can't trespass John Doe. Um, I actually, I, I can show you videos of agencies all over the state, and they do exactly just that. I'm not new at this. So I've been doing we, that this year. How do we know who you are? You would take a picture of me, and then you would include it with the case file and the reference number. Is how the, everybody else does it. How do we not know you don't have a twin brother? Well, that, that's not hearsay or their say. we got to follow the law, and there is no law. That's not true. Well, and that wouldn't be fair to the twin brother, would it? And, 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 and there is no law, again, there is no law that requires me to provide a, an ID. If you can produce one, I will gladly show you my ID. In order for us to trespass you, we have to know who you are. And as soon as you show me the statute that says that, I will okay. be glad to provide you with ID. The statute will be obstruction. You'll be obstructing the investigation. You're obstructing the investigation into what crime? Into you trespassing. You're violating I'm not the county ordinance. I'm not trespassing. A trespass warning is given. Okay. Let me see a supervisor. Your I supervisor. supervisor. I want to see your supervisor. Watch see commander. Supervisor? Watch commander. Okay. Let's get him down here. Come on, let's go downstairs. We're trespass. We don't want to be here. Uh, I'll go downstairs. Okay. Get my phone out of my pocket, guys. Trespassing warning. Corporal Martin. Corporal Martin? Martin. Corporal Martin. 
like to show Martin, Martin. It's only like up to 89 or something. Public safety. Is that a GoPro? Public safety. Really? Yeah. How much is the cheapest one? Still like 200 bucks. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have an external battery, so you have to charge it. How far down here do I have to stand away from the door to smoke? 50 feet? There's no sign, so. The first pass warning was for the building itself or for the property as well? Okay. Where does the property uh yeah, we'll make sure we're... Airport Road. Airport Road. Okay. Sounds great. All right. Yeah. Well, unless we're being detained, we'll meet you guys out on the road. No problem. All right.